Triangle RJM has an area of 6 and a perimeter of 12. If the triangle is dilated by a scale factor of 3 centered at the origin, what are the area and perimeters of the image triangle R prime J prime M prime? So let me write this information down. The area is equal to 6. The perimeter is equal to 12. To answer this question, you have to be aware of the, uh, of the following. And I'm going to give it to you, and I'm also going to explain it. So let's say we have the original object, and the original object has a uh, P value for perimeter and A value for the uh, area. The image, after a dilation of K, is going to have the perimeter be P times K. So we're multiplying the original perimeter by a factor of K, and the uh, original area is going to be multiplied by a factor of k squared. So the image will have an area of a times k squared. Now why is this the case, right? So let's say if we're dealing with a triangle, and it doesn't have to be a triangle, it could be a square, it could be any shape for that matter. I want to talk about a right triangle here. I have a, b, and c. The perimeter here is going to be a plus b plus c. And the area is going to be one-half A times B, right? If I dilate this triangle by a scale factor of K, so this is going to be slightly bigger, so AK, BK, and CK, the perimeter here can be, sh it, um, can be seen to be AK plus BK plus CK. And with a little bit of algebraic manipulating here, I'm going to factor out the k because there's a common factor all throughout three terms. So I have a plus b plus c times k. I'll call this p2 and this guy here p1 and this is a1. So you can see here a plus b plus c is really the perimeter of the original, which was p1. I'm going to do the same thing with the area now. The area, a2, is one-half ak times bk. And again, with a little bit of algebraic movement here, this is the same thing as one-half a times b times k squared. And this is equivalent to a1 times k squared. So it's the same thing as I, what I was telling you from above in that chart. Going back to this problem, the uh, area is 6 and the perimeter is 12. Well, the image then is going to, we're, what we're going to have is an area of 6 times 3 squared and a perimeter, which is going to be 12 times 3. So what is that? That's going to be 54 and 36. So that would be option three then.